I think that 30 years from now, I like to think that we will have a biological understanding of most forms of cancer and neurological disorders. We're a long way off, but I think in 30 years from now, we will, we will understand diseases and be able to parse out different patient populations in a way that we're able to tackle diseases that right now have, have eluded us um, from having any really strong therapies. So I very much think that's realistic in 30 years. Um, yeah. I am personally fascinated with the idea of proactively managing our immune systems and maybe our microbiomes. Um, if we can move into more preventative health and, and not just sort of sick care, in 30 years, we may be going in for, you know, our regularly scheduled, scheduled checkups with our doctors and come out like a car tune-up where we need to make some, some fine tuning and adjustments to our immune systems or our microbiomes uh, in, in advance of, of identifying diseases. So that would be pretty neat. I mean, I know we've got a lot of folks that are sort of taking that on themselves and experimenting with diet and other things, but I think the medical profession will start to catch up to that. So um, that would be interesting to see if that comes to, to, to fruition in 30 years. We'll have to see if we can find this podcast then and, and go back and listen and see if anything of these things come true. Um, and then I think on the societal front, I hope that health and healthy habits become ingrained into our education and social services. You know, we, we don't talk about that a lot when we talk about the innovation space because we're so focused on building new businesses and new things. But fundamentally, if we just found a way to make it easier for people to take better care of their health early in their lives, we wouldn't have a lot of the diseases that we see people start to exhibit later in their life. And so it's not really an area that we've seen a lot of VC investment or sort of startup activity. But I would like to think 30 years from now, we as a society have come to the conclusion that it is worth investing in our population health early, um, you know, through social services and, and probably through the education system to help us prevent getting diseases that we could have prevented if we had just taken care of patients earlier in their life. So those would probably be three areas looking ahead that I'd love to see. I'd love to see those things happen before 30 years, but hopefully in 30 years, we've made a place where those things come true.